Hi, I'm delighted to present to you our new steel joint design software. This has been made together with the Swedish Institute of Steel Constructions and it covers the recommended 51 types of joints. I will in this video show you how easy it is to use. When you open the program, you will have to select what national annex to use. In this video, I will select Danish national annex. The different types of joints, the column splice, the beam splice, the column base, the beam to beam, the beam to column, the knee joint, and at last, the bracing. Under these categories, there are subcategories. As you can see here, this illustrates what kinds of cross sections these joints are made for. And there are subcategories under this as well here. In this example, I want to show you the knee joint. There are again here different kinds, different shapes of joints. You have this joint. Be aware that the image illustrates what kind of joint you have chosen. Like this. And again, all these can again be adjusted according to what you need. I will select this one in this example. The only thing I need to do here, actually, here, I need to fill out the ULS, the design forces for the joint. I will just select 20. Be aware of the, of the sign of these forces. And the shear, 50. The bending moment, 50. You can adjust what kinds of, uh, what size you have, joint column up here. And the illustration would, uh, will automatically update here. So material and cross section here. Also, if you want to have inclined like this, can also be done here. If we click on next, it's time to set up all the detail of the joints. All of these plates you see here can be adjusted manually. If I, for instance, look at the end plate, I can select do I want an end plate or not. And the drawing, of course, auto updates here. If I want to have an end plate, I can adjust the material. I can adjust the thickness of the plate. If I fix 50, I can see the plate dimension change here. Like this. Also, the top stiffener can be adjusted if I want it or not. If I say yes, I can see that there's a small plate here. I'll just say no to that. Also, the bottom stiffener I would like to keep. So I keep that as a yes. Also, the plate dimensions I would like to keep. And you can again here adjust the, um, the welding as well. And if I want to have a diagonal stiffener here, I can add that. So this is for, for the column up here. I can do the same for the beam. Adjust all these plates if I want them or not. <clears throat> this I don't want. So I say no to that and it will be removed. And now we have our joint. If I, for some reason, place my bolts wrong, if I go to the bolt menu here, I can say that I would like I could change my quality if I like, the size, of course. And if I change the placement, let's see in the bottom, if I change this to zero, it will give me an error here that it cannot be placed due to geometrical error. If I write maybe 30, it cannot be placed either. So there's a geometric conflict. So there is this check. I'll write 45. Okay, after this, when I'm, I'm done, I can have a look, I can click finish, I can create the name, we can call it test, and my joint will now be up here, this is the test joint. When I want to print this report, I go to documentation, and the report is already generated. I can scroll through, I can see all my values here, all my choices, I can see the figures as well. Like this. Like 
this. When I want to print, <clears throat> I set up my printer by clicking here, section one. I go properties, I set up my printer here. And then I click print and that's it. Thank you for watching this short video.